Greetings everyone, welcome to Just Advanced and this is a game from Julius Bear Generation Cup and this is a game between Magnus Carlsen and Magnus' pick for the candidates tournament which is Ali Reza Firuja. He wanted to face Ali Reza as a world champion and wanted to test it out if he could beat him in the race for becoming the world champion and here they clash in the Julius Bear Generation Cup so let's see how they do. So without further ado let's start with this game and here Magnus is with the white pieces and he starts with e4, we have e6 by Ali Reza and we have French defense, we have d4 and d5. And we have knight to c3, but just knight to f6. And here e5 was played, going for the advanced variation, but with the exclusion of the c5 move. So here, instead, just knight to d7 was played, but we have this f4 immediately going for a very nice attack. And we have c5 now, but just knight to f3. And we have knight to c6, we have bishop to e3, and just a6. And we have queen to d2. And here was a chance for Al Reza to go for a bit of an aggressive play for this immediate b5. Just expanding on the queen side, and here after h4, with white doing doing expansion on the queen side and after queen to a5 we'll have this bishop to e2 and after bishop to e7 both players trying to castle so we have castles castles and after a3 we'll have this b4 it's a bit weird putting the queen against the white king but uh, it all works out after a captures and queen captures and after h5 you play h6 and black will have a decent game but instead a razor went for this bishop to e7 but now just comes bishop to e3 and after c4 we have bishop to e2 but just b5 and after f5, immediately going for an attack on the queen side. And we have this knight to b6, but now it gives Magnus a chance to open up the f file. And he doesn't. We have f caps on e6, f captures. And now Magnus immediately wants to put that rook on the f file. And Magnus castles. And to counter that rook on the f file, Eliza castles as well. And we have the immediate attack with knight to g5. And instead, if Eliza had gone for that b5 early on, it would be a completely different story as he would have attacking chances on the queen side. But here he has to defend with queen to e8. And after bishop to g4. And instead of this bishop to g4, Magnus could have easily had the winning advantage right from the opening can you spot the move pause the video and try and find the winning move for magnus in this position while i give you a couple of seconds so well congratulations to online pro who's able to find this move and the move is as simple as just trading the rooks we have this rook caps on it and after bishop captures as the rooks are not connected so here magnus will definitely enjoy getting the rook into the game with the tempo so after rook to f1 we have this b4 and after knight to d1 we have this rook to a7 and it's a crazy engine line it's nearly impossible to find it in a rapid game but we have this c3 and then after h6 we play this knight to h3 and after b3 you just trade it down, A captures, C captures, and, then after, and just after knight to f4, you'll play this knight to e7, and after h, bishop to h5, now, now the queen is under attack, you have to move it, so queen to d8, but we'll have this queen to e2, just getting this queen nicely along this file, but black will definitely not allow it, so black will go with this knight to f5, but you'll have this queen to f3 nonetheless, and after bishop to d7, you'll play this knight to g6, now that knight is definitely a scary piece, so you have to try and trade it down, so bishop to e8, trying to trade that knight, but the very spectacular and the move that you had to find while going for all of this is this g4. And yes, black can trade that knight down now with bishop captures, but after bishop captures and knight to h4, just going for this very nice folk, you'll first have this wish to with this bishop to f7 check. And once now the king moves, now you play this queen to h3, and after g5 defending that, you'll get, grab this backwards pawn with this bishop captures. And now you're up a pawn with this knight being stranded on the edge file, it's nearly impossible to do anything with the queen side being closed down as well. But I mean, it's a crazy engine line, no one can find it. So here, the bishop to g4 was played, but here just b4 and trying to go on an attack on the queen side, but it's a bit too late because knight to e2 was played and we have rook caps on f1 to check. We have rook caps on f1 and just c3. And after b captures, you cannot even trade. Here, queen to g6 was played, but we have this h4. And just defending that knight, and after knight to c4, just going for that, just go trying to trade that bishop, we have just queen to c1. And after b captures, we have this knight to f4 and we have this knight to f4 attacking the queen but just queen to h6 but now Alireza's position just starts to crumble and Magnus just grabs a clean pawn with this knight caps on e6 and we have queen caps on h4 but just knight caps on d5 and after bishop to d7 trying to get that rook into the game but we have this bishop to f5 and after bishop to a3 attacking the queen we have queen to e1 but now we see a trade of queens queen captures rook captures and this rook to d8 just trying to get a hold of the open file but now all the pieces get traded we have knight caps on g7 king captures and this bishop captures and after knight captures we have this knight caps on e3 and after knight caps on d4 we have knight caps on f5 and after knight captures we have bishop captures and after rook to b2 we are left with an end game where white has white is actually up a pawn but that pawn is going to fall soon so after rook to d1 was played we have rook caps on a2 but after king to f2 here the black king being open like that magnus is definitely better but here there's just one move that saves the game for all in this position so pause the video and test your knowledge for the second time in this game while i give you a couple of seconds So congratulations on everyone who's able to find this move and the move is as simple as just avoiding this check with this bishop to e7. 
just blocking that not letting it come in the tempo because then the h7 pawns falls as well so after king to e3 you'll get this h5 and after rook to d7 you'll get this king to f7 and after rook to a7 you play this rook to a4 just cutting off this king from ever entering the pile and push this pawn to victory so after king to d3 you'll play this a5 and now the c3 pawn is definitely going to fall so after king caps on c3 you'll play this rook to f4 but after bishop to d3 you'll play this rook to g4 and after bishop to c4 check king moves rook to a check king moves and after bishop to d5 you'll play this bishop to c5 and after rook to a6 you play this king to e7 but after bishop to f3 and rook to f4 you play this rook caps on h5 now yes white is up two pawns but it's impossible to push this pawn this pawn will be stopped by this rook and this king is doing a very nice job of stopping this pawn and this pawn cannot be captured if you capture this you get this very nice bishop to h4 check then the rook so even though white is up two pawns it's just impossible to get him in this position but here alireza was down to few seconds and it's impossible to find such a line so here just a5 was played but after bishop to d7 check and after king to h6 not even bothered to capture the h7 pawn here just king to f3 was played just improving the position of the king and after king to g5 we'll have this g4 and after bishop to f8 we have this rook caps on h7 and after bishop to h6 we just have this e6 and it's just impossible to stop the promotion so it was on this move on move 38 that Alireza Firuja resigned the game and just to tell you this is game 3 and Alireza lost all of the games but as Julius Page Generation Cup is a double elimination round Alireza is not exactly eliminated he just lost in the finals but there is even a grand final it's confusing but Alireza will have a chance to meet Magnus up in the grand finale if he's able to win in the losers bracket so yeah thank you all for watching I'll be coming up with another amazing game from Julius Page Generation Cup going to the grand final and I'll see you guys very soon Thank you all.